Oh yes, what we are going to learn? Domestic animals. So children, have you seen animals in and around your house? Yes, some of you may be having a pup, a dog, isn't it? Some of you may be having cat. Those who are living in busty areas, you may have cow, pig, isn't it good? So these animals which we keep in our house are called domestic animals. Animals that we keep in our house as our pet are called domestic animals. Some animals are very, very useful. Cow, isn't it? Cow gives us milk. And what we make? We make butter, cheese, curd, so many things out of milk. And milk is also used to make your chocolate. You like chocolate, isn't it? So milk is also used to make chocolate. So there are so many animals that, that are very, very useful to us. That's why we keep these animals in our house. Why do we keep dog? We love dog, isn't it? A dog guards our house also from thieves, from enemies. Isn't it protects it? It is a man's best friend. Dog is a man's best friend. So we keep dog as our pet. And cat also. We love to keep cat. Isn't it why? It keeps the mice away. If there is mice in your house, you have to keep a cat and it will kill the mice and your house is free from mice. So all these animals are very very useful in one or the other way. Now see uh, goat. Goat also gives us uh, milk. Isn't it? Some, some of you keep the goat for your dasera. You eat meat. Isn't it? And sheep gives us wool. Wool. You know what is wool? We need sweater with that wool. We make sweater. Mommy needs no sweater. That is the wool which is made from sheep's fur. Alright? And uh, some of uh, you tame pig also. Ox. Why do we keep ox? It plows our field. Isn't it? It plows our field. It is, these domestic animals are useful in so many ways. Now yuck. Yuck. Have you been to Changu? You can see so many yucks. Now you can ride on the yuck and see the scenery around. A horse. Horse also. You can, we have seen horse in Darjeeling, isn't it? So not only in Darjeeling, whenever you move around, you see not in Sikkim, especially. When you go out of Sikkim, you will see horse, no? There are horse riding, people ride on the horse. So horse will take us from one place to another. And last is camel. So what is camel? It is the ship of the desert. People living in desert, no? In places like Rajasthan, they have to travel a lot and when the sun shines, the sand gets heated and it's very difficult for them to walk on the sand. So they ride on a camel. Alright, so today we are going to learn the names of these domestic animals. Now let us start from one. C-O-W, cow. C-O-W, cow. D-O-Z, dog. D-O-Z, dog. Now, C-A-T, cat. C-A-T, cat. Z-O-A-T, goat. Z-O-A-T, goat. Now, sheep. S-H-E-E-P, sheep. Again, S H E E P sheep. Now pig, P I Z pig, P I Z pig. Next O X ox, O X ox. Next Y A K yuck, Y A K yuck. Here horse, H O R S. Horse. H O R S E. Horse. And the last one is camel. C A M E L. Camel. C A M E L. Camel. So, children, we are going to learn the names of these 10 domestic animals 
and write it down in your previous copy and learn the spellings by heart. All right? <coughs> Excuse me. So what are domestic animals? Domestic animals are animals that we keep in our house as our pet. They are useful to us in many ways. All right. So this much for today. Next class we are going to learn about wild animals. Wild animals lives in jungle. We do not keep wild animals in our house. So next class be ready. Next evening's class you be ready with the names of wild animals, and I will teach you in your evening session. All right. So till then, have a good day.